Welcome to Dolphin Cloud Power Dialer and CRM. First, I'm going to show you how to immediately start dialing in the fewest steps possible, and then we'll discuss some of the additional features. To use Dolphin Cloud, you must be using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser. Enter the user ID and password you received via email to log in. You'll see a dashboard showing calls, statistics, users, and getting started items. Now, you'll see a notification showing that you need to sign the electronic agreement stating you'll use the dialer legally. This only takes a moment. Now we can get started. The first thing we need to do is navigate under Admin to Master Dial Settings so we can update our caller ID. Think of the Master Dial Settings as the default settings for your dialer. Due to FCC regulations, you'll need to use the caller ID number we've provided you with. Or, if you wish to use your own number, you'll have to verify it with us first. For the SMS caller ID, it also must be a number we provide you with, or it will not work. I'm going to fill in my caller ID and hit Save. We'll discuss the relationship between campaigns, lists, and leads, along with more of the settings in a few minutes. But for right now, let's move on so we can start dialing right away. Navigate to the Upload Leads page, and then select the default list. You can choose to check for duplicates, and then you'll browse or drag and drop your CSV file here. We recommend 10,000 leads or less, but if you have a large list, you can use our file manager to split it up. Map the headers from your spreadsheet to the fields in the dialer. Down here at the bottom, let's add one custom field for annual income and map it. Now click Upload and the system will start the upload process. You'll see the results notification when done. Make sure you have a Bluetooth or USB headset plugged into your computer and are using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Let's start power dialing by choosing the default campaign under the Power Dialer dropdown. It will ask you to authorize the use of your microphone, which you must approve. When making calls, you'll see a red dot indicating the tab is using your mic. The progress of the call is shown up at the top. You will hear the phone ring and hear if someone picks up the call. When the call is finished, click on the Hang Up button to bring up the list of dispositions. Once you select one, it will move you on to another call. During a live call, or when a call is complete, you can view previous activities, make notes, or view and update lead info. Once set up, you can also view a script, send an email, or send a text message. Let's end the power dial session by clicking on the red stop button. Now, we'll hang up the call and disposition this one as a call back and set it for next week. As you can see, we ended up on the Leads View page, showing the most recent calls we've made. Now, let's set up a voicemail drop recording so we can start dropping pre-recorded voicemails when we reach an answering machine. I will navigate to Admin, Voicemail Drops, and Add a New Audio File, and then click to start recording. This is Melanie with ABC Insurance. It's very important that I speak with you right away. You can reach me at 555-555-555. Now, I'll name it and save it. We can add it to the PAM1 drop-down and save. Let's go try it out. First, navigate to the CRM drop-down and then the View Leads page. From this page, you can view any lead profile or simply click the phone number to dial. Record your messages after the tone. When you are finished, press the pound key. Hi, Jen. As you can see, I selected the pre-recorded voicemail we saved and it instantly freed us up to move on to another call or do something else while the message is played on her machine. By saying the customer's name first, I personalized it, making it more likely for them to call back. When we go into the profile page, you can see the call record and disposition of the call. Let's talk about the structure for dialing and staying organized in Dolphin. Campaigns allow you or your team to power dial with specific settings and lists. While some clients only need one campaign, others may want several because it allows them to segment their dialing for organizational or reporting purposes. Lists are assigned to campaigns. 
you can think of lists as containers for your leads. Leads are uploaded onto your lists and then lists are assigned to campaigns for dialing. A lead is simply an individual record with contact information. A campaign may have one list assigned to it or many lists. There will be other videos that go more into depth on the following. Reports can be viewed or exported from this drop-down menu. Other important items such as users, scripts, and email settings can be viewed from the admin drop-down. The user profile drop-down allows you to update your avatar or view the knowledge base along with some shortcuts for other items. This concludes the Getting Started video. You always have the option to send an email ticket or call support if you need assistance. Thank you.